Good morning. Come on in. Let me get started sharing. All right, we are live. Let me share. All right. Okay, great. Takes a moment sometimes for I see it, but come on in, say good morning. Alrighty. Good morning. We're going to start praying. All right, come on in, come on in. Morning, good morning, good morning. All right. Let me get it all shared here. And then I'm going to share it in my prayer group. So give me a minute. Good morning, everybody. I am excited. I am excited. I'm always excited about being able to pray. Alrighty. Let's see. I think we got it all shared out. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Darla. Good morning, Jacqueline. Hello. Come on in. Make sure you share it out. Um, yeah, I am looking forward to this as well. Um, I would play some music in the background, but I don't want Facebook to, to shut me off. They've been shutting me down even when it's music I pay for. So I said, we well, y'all just hear the music in your head. I hear just hear it in your head. Amen. Uh, so come on in. Just take a moment. I'll make sure we get a chance to get the shares out there. And then I'm going to go right into prayer. We've been setting the mood all month with just the lessons and the way God has been um, having me to train and to teach. And so I am really excited. Um, and I say, Lord, you must really have something you want to do for us because two days ago I woke up and my entire side of my body was in pain. I couldn't, I couldn't move. And um, I was like, I don't know. It wasn't hurting when I woke up. But when I got up, it was like it was just in pain. But I said to myself, Lord, I'm trusting you as the healer. But even if the pain don't go away, if they got to prop me up in my chair, I will be sitting here to pray on Thursday. I am not stepping back because I believe that God is the one and he wants to do something in our lives. Amen. So again, for anybody that's, that's going to join us, whether you live or the replay, I'm Dr. Jewel Williams. I'm one of the lead pastors of Abundant Life Worship Center, um, and we are at 7701 South Exchange. So if you look for a church home, you can come and visit us. So let us get right into the prayer. Um, and even as we pray today, if you have a prayer request or somebody else has a prayer request, Put it in the comment. I hope not to miss it. Hopefully everything will show up and we will see it. Amen. So we are praying through the word. Amen. So good morning again. Thank you for joining me. Um, so if the other thing is, if you don't want to put your prayer out here, you can do the hashtag and write the word prayer and then it will send you to messenger and you can put your message there and I will pray for that and we will pray for that as well. All right, let's get started. Lord, I come to you now in the name of Jesus. You are the savior who we serve and who every knee must bow and to who every tongue must confess is Lord. So I decree and declare that this battle is not ours, first of all, and that in this battle, no weapon, whether externally or internally, be it emotionally, financially, social, spiritually, or relationally formed against us shall prosper. Meaning that no matter what weapon the enemy may try to use today, 
day against us that it is already defeated. We are already victorious. So we stand already saying thank you for the victory in our lives. Lord, we thank you that every emotional hindrance is already being taken care of. Every financial hindrance you are already seeing about. Every social um, uh, uh, hindrance you're already dealing with. Every spiritual uh, hindrance you're already de dealing with. Every relational hindrance you're already dealing with us. We thank you already, Father, before we start asking for a thing. We just declare what your word has already told us, and that is that no weapon formed shall prosper. It will form, but it will not accomplish that what the enemy has sent for it to do. And we say thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Joshua 1, 7 and verse 7 and 8 says, be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turn it either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book of instructions continually. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and proceed in all you do. Now, Lord, we're going to make that word per per personal. So, Lord, as we make it personal, this is what we say. We come and declare and decree we are strong and very courageous. We will not let the things of the enemy stop us. We will not let them push us back. We're going to stand strong in the understanding and the knowledge of you. We're going to be courageous. We're going to push forward through the fear and doubt and things that the enemy tries to bring our way. So we be, we stand strong and not just courageous, but very courageous. And we are going to be careful to obey all your instructions, Lord, whether it's by your written word, by it's the, the leading of your Holy Spirit, even if it's the instructions that are given to us by our leaders, we're going to be careful to obey your instructions. We're not going to deviate from them. We're not going to turn either to the left or to the right. We're not going to allow the whims of this world and the, the, the things that tickle the ear. We're not going to let it deviate us from that which we know is true and right. This is why we're going Going to be success successful in everything we do. Why? Because we're going to be obedient to you. We're going to study the book of instructions continually. We, we will allow your word. We're going to eat on it. We're going to meditate on it. We're going to let your word permeate our very being, Lord God. So we're going to meditate on it day and night. And then, only then is when we will prosper and succeed in all that we do. Therefore, we come with an expectation that you will hear us because we are your children. So prepare our hearts to receive today. God, you know what each of your children need. Therefore, help us to prepare ourselves today for our prayers to be answered. So we thank you in advance for what you're doing. Hebrews 11, 6 says, and it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. Lord God, we're going to make that personal. We understand, God, that without faith, it is impossible to please you. Therefore, we come like the man that said, strengthen my faith, even if it's just a little faith. God, we ask you to expand our faith and our trust in you. Therefore, we come to you, God, believing that you exist, uh-huh, and that you are rewarded for those who diligently seek you, uh-huh, and we're going to ask you to help us today as we come in prayer to diligently seek you and to agree with your plans for our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Help us to be bold in our asking. Help us to not be timid, but, but with assurance of what you will do Help us to come, Lord, and ask. Help us to stir up our faith together. Lord God, put that in the in the chat. Stir up our faith today, Lord God. We're asking you even right now. That's the first thing we're asking, Lord. Stir up our faith. Help us, Lord God, because if it's settled and, and, and stagnant, Lord, help it to be stirred up today. Meet us here today in an unusual way. Let not distance or even those that watch the replay miss the experience, the encounter that you want them to have with you today. So God, stir up the faith that's in the inside of us. Stir it up in the name of Jesus. Mark 11, 23 and 24 says, I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea. That's right, Jacqueline. Stir up our faith. Uh, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. But you must really believe believe it will happen. Have no doubt in your heart. I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe it, that you'll receive it, it will be yours. Lord God, we thank you. We're going to make it personal. That is our thing. We are the mountain movers prayer. So we come today, God, and say to this mountain. Now I ask you right now, what's the mountain that you want God to move? Put it in the comment and we're going to pray for these mountains to be moved. So God, we come today and say to these mountains, uh, uh, well, we're going to say something to the mountain. We're going to say to the mountain, we 
we come today as a collective voice and say to these mountains, you must uh -huh, immediately be removed and you must be, and we cast you into the sea. And you will not, we, there will be no doubt in our hearts. We will believe that what we are saying is happening. We will, it will be done unto us. We continually pray for everything. Okay, come on, Holy Ghost. Uh, I'm a light just decided he wants to go out. That's all right. And know that what we are asking, we believe will be taken and that we will receive it. So, so Lord, what is the mountain? Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's right. So, Lord God, we speak to this mountain of anxiety and we cast it right now. Collectively, we come together and we cast this anxiety, uh, especially about this baby and this child. We cast Jacqueline's anxiety into the sea. Come on, somebody. We cast it away. Collectively, we ask it to be removed. We declare that it is removed, cast into the sea, and there will be no doubt in our hearts. And we believe that what we are saying, it is happening and it will be done and we will continually pray and everything we pray about it shall happen lord god we come and we speak to this mountain of high blood pressure in the name of jesus we come together in a collective voice and say to these mountain uh -huh, high blood pressure you must immediately be removed and you must immediately be cast into the sea and will we will not doubt in our hearts but will believe that what we are saying is happening it is being done to us now in jesus day we come and speak to the mountain of chronic pain and back pain uh-huh and pr chronic pain in um in people's joints we come and speak to all kind of chronic pain and we declare to that mountain we say today in a collective voice uh-huh chronic pain back pain you must immediately be removed in the name of jesus we cast you into the sea and we will not doubt in our hearts thank you jesus uh-huh that it will be done unto us lord god we say thank you lord god and with any other mountain even if somebody come back on the replay father i just come and say together today we call that mountain and whatever that mountain is when if you only even on the replay you write it in the comment and we are coming together and agreeing that every mountain that is written in the comment every mountain is declared we come and say them out loud lord that these mountains will immediately be removed and immediately cast into the sea. And with no doubt in our hearts, we will believe that what we are saying is happening. It will be done for us. We continually pray for everything and know that what we are asking, we believe we have it. We've taken it as by faith and it will be there for us in the name of Jesus. So I speak to I speak that God's anointing destroys every yoke in our lives in the name of Jesus. That's right. Lord God, so we come right now and we bring that mountain of pain and infirmity uh, that has been plaguing um, Jacqueline's father. And we come and say right now, no more chest pains in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we come, no more pains, no more pains, all of that chronic pain, no more chest pain, no more pains in any part of his body. We speak to that mountain of pain and we declare and de de decree and declare together as a collective voice, we say to that mountain of pain, you must immediately be removed from him. You must immediately be cast into the sea and you will not no longer rise up. No doubt is in our heart. We believe what we're asking for. It's not because we just asked for, but we believe because God's word said it. And so we believe that God is faithful to fulfill his word in the name of Jesus. And we say, thank you. Yes, God, you will be healthy. We speak health over you even as he prepares for this surgery. And then we decree and declare that he will come through the surgery with flying colors in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, I speak that, God, that the anointing destroys every yoke in our lives and that our soul, our spirit, and our bodies now function according to your God, your purpose for our lives in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that we are healed, spirit-filled, sickening that death are far from us based on Isaiah 53 and 5 that says, but he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. Lord, we thank you today that because of of you you are offered unto us the ability to be healed the right to be healed and lord god we come and take ownership of the healing that you have for us so lord god it is done because of the blood of jesus christ it is done because of the by the power of the anointing of the holy ghost and so father today we say thank you for the healing in our body in the name of jesus lord god i nullify i nullify all diabolical decisions 
and rulings concerning our ministries, our businesses, our health, our finances, our lives, and the lives of our family members and friends based on Matthew 16 and 19. Let me say that again. I nullify diabolical decisions and rulings concerning your ministry. If you a pastor, uh, if you have a personal ministry, I can come against every ruling of the of satanic ruling against your ministry. If your business is not flourishing the way God has said, I come against every ruling and decision of the enemy that's hindering what you what you need. I come against every rule of the enemy related to your health. If you've been seeking and waiting on God's healing, I come against all of the diabolical decisions and rulings that have um have set up and are hindering you from receiving your healing, whether that's healing from pain, whether that's healing emotionally, whatever the healing is, we come against every decision of the enemy that's trying to keep us from walking in it. I come against the, the, the enemy trying to take and destroy your finances in the name of Jesus. I come against and I come and nullify those diabolical decisions and rulings concerning your finances in the name of Jesus. You will no longer struggle, but you will be able to move and do it. God has called you to do, not only for yourself personally, but even in the places where he's told you to be a steward and to give. I come against those rulings, those diabolical rulings against your lives and the lives of your family members. All of the attacks that the enemy has been sending, we come against them right now in the name of Jesus. Based not on because I said it, based on the words, Matthew 16, 19 says, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Whatever you forbid on earth will be forbidden in heaven. And whatever you permit on on earth will be permitted in heaven today lord god we we come against the enemies walking through and all, all over your children right now in the name of Jesus. We forbid it. We forbid those decisions that the enemy has did to lock down, break down, destroy those things that you have set up. Uh, and what we release in place, Lord God, is we release the flourishing of the spirit and the ministries. We release your power, your anointing in our ministries. We release wealth and and success in our ministry. We release that also over our businesses. We declare that you're going to send us customers and, and those that we can help and those that, that can help us. We thank you that we release healing over our bodies that today, Lord God, we're calling down from heaven healing over our health, over our finances, over our lives, even in the lives of our family, even over our friends. We declare that it is so. I declare that every lying tongue is exposed and that truth Truth prevails in the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, your word says, uh, you Lord, even even put a hook. It's spiritually, you're putting a hook in the nostril of the it, it, of our enemy. You're bridling their lips, and and you hide us from the scourge of the tongues. Based on your word, Isaiah 37, 29, and it says, uh huh. And because you uh, of your ra raging against me and your arrogance, which I've heard for myself, I will put my hook in your nose and my beard in your mouth. I will make you return by the same road on which you came. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, Tata, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all give me a minute. Somebody needed the, the link and I All right, y'all come on back in. See, I told you, the enemy don't want us to pray because, I mean, it just plum kicked me right on off. And we're going to go right on back in and see what's going on here. We're going to go right back on and back see. Let me Let me try to do this share out again. Y'all give me a moment. I mean, it just kicked me right out. All right. Come on back in. Yes, it kicked me plumb out. So come on back in. Come on back in. And we just going to start back where we where we left off. So come on in. Come on in. Come on in. 
I said, oh, it was going good. Tell me something went wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something went wrong. Come on back. Come on. Come on back in, y'all. Come on back in. We're just going to do it from here. I see somebody I, but I can't see you. So whoever you are, let me know who you are. Let me know you are there. So I can see you. I'm going to try to share it back out again. And we will try this again. All right, I see you, Darla. Thank you. Yeah, just kick me right out. I said, mm hmm prayer was getting good too. I said, that's all right. We 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 just gonna we're gonna we're gonna work around it. We're gonna work around it. We're gonna work around it. We are going to work around it. Amen. So give me a minute. Let me share this back out. And then we just gonna pick back up where we were at. I said, uh-uh, we gon' we gonna we just gonna pick back up where we was at. I was like, mm-mm, nope, 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 nope. We just gonna pick back up where we was at. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy of all praise. I am not discouraged, nor am I defeated. I thank the Lord because he is a mighty worker, a mighty God. I thank you, Father, for you are, are awesome. You are our Father and our God. We thank you today, Lord. That no weapon, as we already stated, can, formed against us shall prosper. And we thank you because we are victorious. We are winners. We winning in this season. We are in our winning season. And we thank you right now for all that you're doing for us. We thank you right now for you are a mighty God. We thank you, Lord, for you just being the father of us. We thank you for you loving us, caring for us, treating us the way we needed to be treated. And we give you the praise right now in the name of Jesus. And I'm going back to where I was at. Lord God, I declare, declare that every lying tongue is exposed and truth prevails. Father, I thank you right now that... You are going to help us, Lord, every place where the enemy is trying to destroy, where the enemy is trying to tear down reputations. We thank you right now, God, that you are restoring that which the enemy has tried to take. Uh -huh. And Lord, we believe you died on the cross for our sins and rose again from the dead. We want to receive the healing and the deliverance you offer us. So we ask you to reveal Anything that's hidden in us that needs to come out. We come out of agreement with anything that is not working the way you want it to work in our lives. We believe whoever calls upon your name will be delivered. And so we call upon your name today and ask you to heal us and deliver us. And, and for anything that keeps us from walking in and being in wholeness. Now, Lord, uncover, unlock your people from the things the devil used to hinder our healing or to keep us from a right relationship with you. As I call out these spirits, Lord God, you deal with them by your fire in the name of Jesus. Send the help to those standing in need of a release in the name of Jesus. And then fill every empty space with your spirit baptize us again in the name of jesus renew us refresh us and then teach us how to steward our healing and our deliverance so father right now in the name of jesus lord god we thank you we are coming and asking you to deal with the spirit of abandonment father they are those of us that have a hard time even acknowledging and receiving you because we're still dealing with a spirit of abandonment. So God, today we thank you that you are helping us as your children to come out of agreement with the spirit of abandonment. I, Father, I ask that in its place, when you remove that spirit of abandonment, that you would help us to know we are sons and daughters, and then we walk worthy because of you, not because of what we do, but because of you. And so we thank you, Lord God, that you're healing that place, that you're moving us out of that belief that we are abandoned. People may have abandoned us, but God, you never will. And so, Father, we thank you today that 
that you will deal with that, that spirit of abandonment in us that is hindering us from being able to receive the fullness of what you have for us. Because for many, it is made that abandonment spirit has offered in and opened up this feeling of being an orphan, uh, of a wandering spirit, uh, of, a, of a not belonging spirit. But Lord God, you said that we are yours. And so Father, as your children, we come today and say, Father, heal us in those abandoned places. Lord, we come against that spirit of abortion. Ah, there's many that have suffered because of abortions that are still carrying grief in them, that are still carrying longing in them. And so, Father, we ask that you would give us forgiveness, that you would offer a release, Lord, for those that have come and sought you, that they no longer feel uh, unworthy or that they feel that they have done something that is unforgivable. Because, Father, if we come to you, you already said that you are willing to forgive us. So, Father, we ask that you would remove that guilt out of the hearts of your people. Lord, there are those that have been dealing with abuse ah. and so God because of abuse they have uh it has allowed them to not feel the that they are worthy or that it's some kind of way it's their fault that they have done something and so we come against that spirit of abuse that has many of your sons and daughters in this place where it's locked them up where they they either are angry or there's bitterness and so they can't receive good afternoon they cannot receive that which you have for them but Lord God we're asking that you release them that you relieve them that you release unto them Lord God your sons and daughters that healing that they need in the in the name of Jesus that you heal them right now in Jesus name father and then we ask Lord that you release those that are dealing with with trauma from accidents and and um that are still dealing with that trauma from whatever whether it was a physical accident or something else but they're dealing with this trauma so father right now in the name of Jesus we're asking Lord that you will relieve the trauma from the lives of your children uh some of them are carrying the trauma in their physical body some of them are carrying the trauma in their emotions but right now in the name of Jesus we're asking Lord that you would heal so that they can be able to walk in the in the fullness of what you have for them Lord God we come against that spirit of accusation where the, the enemy has accused them and is constantly being accused and so Lord God we ask right now that you will release by fire uh, the spirit of accusation break that chain off of your sons and daughters so they're no longer walking in this place under the accusation of, of, of what the enemy has accused them of some of them Lord God are dealing with that where it makes them afraid to open their mouth it's muzzled some so Father right now we break that muzzle off the, the mouths of of your sons and daughters who are afraid of accusation if they say something they will be accused of this that and the other but Lord God I speak that you are bringing us to a place where we will roar we will speak we will say all that you have called for us to say why because we are your sons and daughters so father we come against that spirit of accusation right now we say break it by the blood of Jesus Christ break it in the name of Jesus and release let the roar of your children release in the land let it shift atmosphere shift people into their right places. Lord God, we come against addiction, that spirit of addiction that tries to grab onto your sons and daughters. Uh, Lord, whether it's sexual addiction, whether it's drug addiction, whether it's food addiction, sometimes it's relational addictions, whatever people are using to fill voids in their life right now, Lord God, we come against it and we decree and declare, Lord God, that we are going to seek the only thing that can satisfy our souls and that is you and your word and your spirit spirit. And so God, today we ask that you break off that spirit of addiction off of your sons and daughters, that they able to grab hold and to be able to walk in the relief that you have for them. So God, we give you praise right now for you are the breaker in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we come against the spirit of anger right now lord there's people that are angry and they're not only angry but you've got bitterness some of them are even angry at you god and i remember you told me a long time ago father you said we can't receive from you if we angry at you so father first of all forgive us for our anger towards you forgive us lord god and then we ask that if you forgive us that you will restore us help us to come to the place lord god where we can let go of that anger whether it's against people or whatever it's against but today lord god we 
we want to walk in freedom. And so we ask, Lord God, that you would give us the ability to come out of agreement, to come from under the anger and those things that are uh, the enemy is using against us. Lord God, today we thank you for breaking off the spirit of anxiety in the name of Jesus. Uh, so, so many people have anxieties over different things. And I just hear you say, Lord, God, help us to change our mind so that we can think on those things that are good and pure and lovely and of a good report. So that way we're not coming into agreement with that spirit of anxiety that try to make us think that all of the negative things are going to happen because the more that we think on it, then you said the more that we will actually manifest it. We don't want to manifest that which the enemy is lied apart. God, we thank you right now because we're coming out of agreement with anxiety right now in the name of Jesus. So we're coming out of agreement with it in the name of Jesus. No longer will we be anxious. We'll be anxious for nothing, but we will be those that pray in all things, supplicate in all things. We will come and seek you instead of letting anxiety talk to us. I decree and declare right now that anxiety's voice is shut up in the name of Jesus. No longer will it be able to speak to us and convince us to do or to go or to shift what you have already said us. And in place of anxiety, Lord, I speak your peace. Release your peace over your children right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you right now. I feel that thing. We thank you right now, Lord God. Break it. Uh -huh. Break it in the name of Jesus. Uh, break it by your power. Break it by your anointing. Break it by way of your spirit in the name of Jesus. So, Lord God, we, we release peace, 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 peace all over your sons and daughters right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we come against that spirit of approval-seeking activities where we're looking for somebody to approve us and it has us doing and flipping and flopping or back and forth and Sometimes that's where some of that anxiety is coming from because we're seeking others to approve us. We're seeking others to come in agreement with us. But God, today, today, God, we find our identity in you and you alone. And today, Lord God, we are believing and trusting by faith that you are all we need to approve. It's just we seek your approval. We seek your love. We seek that which you have called for us to do. We seek you alone by way of your word and by way of your spirit through our praying, through our fasting. We seek to be right with you. And God, we say thank you. We no longer thank you for breaking that need and that that needed that need that that need to have approval of men. We thank you today, Lord God, that we seek your approval and your approval alone. Lord God, I come against the spirit of bitterness right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord God, where things are bitter, where we've been bitter because we didn't get what we want or things didn't go the way we want, we come against that spirit of bitterness that is set up in the hearts of your sons and daughters because it is keeping us from being able to move and do and be who you've called us to be. Lord God break that spirit of bitterness off of us right now in the name of Jesus. And we come right now, we come and say, Lord, we come in agreement with you and your plans for us. So we come out of agreement with the things that we have listened to, the things that we have heard, the things that we have believed that are contrary to you. So Father, we come out of agreement with this. It is not just our coming out of agreement that it's broken. It's broken by way of your power and your spirit. But Lord God, when we come out of agreement, when we renounce these things. It gives you more to work with. And so God, today we say forgive us for letting bitterness set up in our hearts today. We no longer will walk in bitterness. We will not be bitter towards people. Even those that hurt us, Father, today we release them. Thank you. I hear the Lord say, you got to release the people that hurt you because that bitterness is not killing them. It is hurting you. So Father, everybody that hurt me, uh, you can fill in the name. Lord, for everybody that hurt me, everybody that lied on me. Everybody that mistreated me right now in the name of Jesus, I release forgiveness over them so that I will not be in a place of bitterness. I will no longer be in bondage. I will no longer be in bondage to the things of the enemy. Today, I decree and declare that I am free in Jesus' name. Lord God, we come against the spirit of condemnation because those that are in Christ Jesus, there is now no condemnation. And so, Father, we come against that spirit of condemnation that the enemy tries to use to always try to make you feel like you're not good enough. You can't do it perfect. Nope, you can't do it perfect. There is only one perfect, and that's Jesus Christ. God comes to bring conviction. The enemy bring condemnation. 
situation. Do you hear me? Jesus will convict us of sin, meaning we need to change it, but the enemy condemns. So Lord God, we come out of agreement. We will no longer listen to the condemnation of the enemy. We will no longer listen to his spirit, to those demonic things and them diabolical lies that try to get us into believing that we can't do this thing, that we're not good enough, that we don't have enough. God, if you said it, we going to believe it. So I may not have enough in me, but you in me as makes me enough. You are enough. Why? Because Jesus is in you. Write that in the comment. I am enough because I have Jesus. I'm not enough because of me. I am enough because of Jesus. I am enough because of Jesus. And we say, thank you. So we come out of agreement with all condemnation. Lord, we come against the spirit of delusion in the name of Jesus. Lord God, the enemy, that's one of the ways he really tries to work against the prophet. That's right. I am enough because I have Jesus. Uh, we come against that spirit of delusion. The enemy often really tries to get prophets into this place of insanity. But we come against that spirit of delusion that, Lord God, we will not think too highly of ourselves. We will not think something that somebody's against us that really isn't. So, Lord God, bring soundness of mind in in this season. Uh, re regulate our mind and our thinking. We come against that spirit of delusion, uh, this delusion of grandeur, this delusion in any kind of way that the enemy will try to bring it. That's right. I am enough because of Jesus. I am enough because of Jesus. Yes, I am. And amen. Uh, Lord God, so we come against the spirit of delusion today. Lord, we decree and declare we are going to walk as your children in wholeness. We're going to walk according to who you say we are because that's who you say we are. And if we don't know who we are, Father, we ask today that you would renew our identity in you. Help us, Lord, so that we can walk worthy of what you have called us to be. Lord God, today we come against the spirit of depression. Lord, we come against the spirit of depression. I break depression off of you right now in the name of Jesus. By the power and the blood of the Lamb, you will no longer walk in this spirit of heaviness. Ah, yeah. So you will no longer walk in the spirit of heaviness. You will no longer carry the burdens. Uh huh. Those places where you have been waiting on answers and they didn't feel like they was coming and the enemy trying to bring you a depression upon you. I curse that at the very root. Jesus is not one that he should lie. God is not one that he should lie. And if he promised it to you, you can count on that promise. Now you just stand on it. You trust it. You ask him for strength in the waiting because there's something that he's doing in you as you wait. There's a reason for the wait. There's a reason for the wait. There's a reason for the wait. Ah, God is preparing you in the wait. And the enemies keep trying to tell you, uh-uh, you ain't waiting. God ain't. God said no. He done forgot about you. He ain't forgot about you. The devil is a liar. And so we come against that spirit of heaviness and depression that he tries to put upon us when we are in, a, in the waiting period. Ah, I speak joy over you in your wait. I speak prosperity over you in your wait. As you wait, I decree and declare that your waiting ain't going to be in vain. And I decree and declare that you're going to have the joy of the Lord even in your wait. Ah, yeah, that so you're going to have the joy of the Lord even in your wait. That's right. He has not forgotten about you. And God says that in the waiting, I am working. In the waiting, I am working. He's working it out for you. He's working it out for you. He's working it out for you. In the name of Jesus. I come against every every disease, every uh, degenerative disease that the enemy tries to release, those things that have shifted our very DNA, those things that are even in your family line. You you know, you might say, well, my mama had high blood pressure, my daddy had high blood pressure, everybody had high blood pressure. Well, I decree and declare it stops with you. Uh, Lord God, I thank you. Uh, I see it by way of the spirit. You know, I, I, we are the sons and the daughters of the most high God. Huh? We got a blood transfusion. I decree and declare a spiritual blood transfusion is taking place in our lives today. So no, guess what? My blood is not just what's running through my vein. The blood of the Lord is running through your vein, which means uh, the purity of the blood is running through my vein. I get it. Above. Lord God, I thank you right now for every disease, everything that may have been in my family life or in those watching family life. I speak over it in the name of Jesus and declare that it is broken in the name 
name of Jesus. Our very bloodline is clean. We got the blood of Jesus Christ flowing over everything related to us. Father, if you got to shift our very DNA, shift our very DNA so that it aligns with what you have called for. I declare even over myself, I'm walking in total healing. I told y'all for two days, I, I couldn't move. My back was hurting, but I said, I'm not going to let nothing stop me from getting up and praying. And guess what? My shoulder ain't hurting no more. I just believe God is healer. Sometimes in the middle of a wait, see the enemy will do some things and it always felt strange. God, why do you let the enemy do some things to us? But God says something and I want you to hear what I hear him saying. He said, sometimes I let it because I want to see how much do you want it? How much are you going to press in? How much are you going to come? How much are you going to press in and ask for what it is you want? Or are you going to let some little one thing come and stop you and you just throw up your hands and quit? Well, I ain't throwing up my hands and quit. I'm throwing up my hand in victory. I got the victory. I got the victory. You got the victory. So Lord, we thank you today for the shifting in our body. We thank you for you are healer. Lord, we thank you for the healing. Uh -huh. Thank you for the healing. And I'm not the only one standing in healing. God, everybody that listens, whether they listen now, the replay or whatever, I'm just speaking boldly and believing, God, that you're going to release healing today in somebody's life. Lord God, and I want to hear the testimony, not because I need it, but I want somebody to come back and say, the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done for me. So Father, I thank you for healing somebody today, shifting them in some places well, they didn't think they could see a, a healing and we give you the praise. Father, I come against the spirit of divorce. Uh, divorce is running rampant and trying to destroy marriages and tear up marriages. But in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that you're going to teach us how to love you and how to love each other. I decree and declare, Lord God, that everything that the enemy tried to bring into the godly marriages, it is stopped today. I declare by the way of the spirit that he must cease. Uh, he must stop. We come against every diabolical scheme that he has tried to slip in on un excuse me, unaware. He cannot do it. And we declare that these marriages will be godly marriages. They will be right before you because they will show the world what it looks like to love one another. So Father, we say thank you, Lord God. And even some that may have broken up, if you didn't call for them to break up, Father, you can put them back together again. So, Father, they might even be on the verge of signing the dotted line for the divorce papers. Father God, if you say no, you just you come in and stop that thing. Uh, Father, put those marriages back together again. And, Father, even those that are not married but are waiting for marriage, I just will insert this right here, Father. I pray that you would send godly husbands and wives to your sons and daughters. Help them to see who you want them to be with. I know there's a lot of sins that you God don't need to pick. Well, I tell you, this is just me. I would rather God pick for me because my picking ain't so good. So, Lord God, pick for your sons and daughters. Show them who's the one that you have for them and then bring them together because it's not just about them having a boo, but it's about kingdom. So, God, right now in the name of Jesus, I thank you for bringing together marriages that are going to be new marriages. I thank you, Lord God, they're going to be kingdom marriages. Kingdom, kingdom, kingdom. God said marriages need to be about kingdom. We have, as children of God, we've forgotten. We just get married because we attracted. But God said, what about kingdom? So God, help us to be kingdom citizens first and that our families and those children that we bring will be kingdom citizens in the kingdom of God. God, we come against the spirit of fear right now in the name of Jesus. We cast it out because you have not given us a spirit of fear. You've given us power and you've given us a sound mind and you've given us love. And today, Lord God, let us walk in all that you have provided for us, that we can walk in love, that we will move in love. We will trust what you have for us. And God, we give you the praise right now in the name of Jesus, because we thank you for you are casting out that fear, that fear. No more fear. God said too much fear is keeping his children from being obedient. He said, and what you do, if you let fear win over what he tells you, you really 
die in disobedience. So God, we don't want to be disobedient children and letting fear win. We're going to move when you say move and we're going to do when you say do. God, we come against every fiery dart of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that you are, are it's like by fire, Lord God, you are burning up those darts. Every dart at our behavior, at our, at our, our name, every dart thrown at our family, every dart thrown at our finances, every dart thrown at our health. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare it is burn up in the fire of God. So those fiery darts will not hit the target that the enemy declared and thought they would. God, we come against false burdens today, Lord God. We release every burden that's not ours. We're no longer going to carry people and try to hold on to people. We're going to let go of false burdens because they are not ours in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord God, that we're going to do what you called us to do, but we're going to release those burdens. Father, and I pray for the healing of those that have been hit by friendly fire. Friendly fire simply means in, in it's a military term that when 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 a soldier has been killed by their own uh, um fellow soldiers. So Father, I'm praying for those that have been hurt by friendly fire, that have been hurt by another believer. I pray healing over them, Lord God. Help them to know that it wasn't you. It was the it was the the flawed behavior or the flawed idea of the person. So today, Lord God, we're speaking for the healing of those that have been have received that what we call friendly fire. Lord God, because most of the time when you talk about friendly fire, they've died. Lord God, I decree and declare that your ministry in your children who've had who've been hurt by others shall not die. It shall live. That ministry in them, that gifting in him, it shall rise up again and they shall walk in the name of Jesus. I come against uh, that spirit of idea identity crisis where you don't know who you are in Christ. Today I speak, you are a son, you are a daughter, and you're going to walk in the full identity and knowledge of who Jesus Christ called you to be. He called you to be a son, you shall be a son. If he called you to be a daughter, you shall be a daughter. And you're going to walk in that, in the fullness of that. So we come against anything that has brought, um, doubt about your identity, even your sexual identity. Lord God, we thank you today that you are going to walk according to who God has called you to be in your full identity in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we come and ask you to heal against those that have dealt with incest. And I just curse that very spirit of incest that is causing fathers and, and mothers to touch their own children. And, and, and God, we come against it. It is foul. It's a foul spirit in the name of Jesus. And we curse that spirit at the root. And we ask, Lord God, those that have suffered under it, may they find healing for their souls. May they find healing so that they can turn to you. Because we know this is another way the enemy tries to keep them from reaching out and seeing you as a good father. Because if they had a lustful, incestuous father, why would they trust God. So today we come against those lies in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we come against that spirit of lust as well in the name of Jesus. Lord God, because there are those that say, well, I'm going to get married and then it's going to go away. No, lust is not. Let me tell y'all something. Lust is not dealt with with a marriage license. Just because you get married, lust don't go nowhere. It's a spirit that you must deal with because you can still be lustful and married. So, Father, we ask right now to break off that spirit of lust off of your children in the name of Jesus. Bring them into right alignment sexually in the name of Jesus. Uh, God, God, get them out of pornography and all of these other things, Lord God, bring conviction to their heart so that they would want to do what you have called for them to do. They could be right stewards with their bodies and right stewards with their within their marriages. Father, we come against the spirit of laziness in the name of Jesus. Lord God, no more laziness in your children. Come on, Holy Ghost. Lord, we thank you right now that you are giving us the vigor and the energy and the desire to be who you call for us to be. So help us to walk rightly before you you and do what you have called for us to do. Lord God, we come against um, not only uh, laziness, but Lord God, we come off of this spirit of offense. God said too many of y'all offended and some of the stuff you offended at, it was you was told rightly, you just didn't want to hear it. So Father, forgive us for being easily offended. And, and Lord says sometimes your offense at, at stuff is because that it hits you in your brokenness. And God said I intentionally let that hit you in your brokenness so the brokenness could be exposed. So Father, we thank you right now 
down and for exposing those areas in our lives that need healing. And then we ask you to heal us. So God, we come against the spirit of offense. We come out of agreement with offense uh, and we will quickly forgive and we'll turn those things over to you. Lord God, we come out of agreement with the spirit of mistrust in the name of Jesus. We're not going to just have mistrust for the sake of having mistrust. And God said much of that mistrust comes because it's based on things from your past. So Father, heal our old wounds. Heal those places where we have mistrust so that we can trust again. And we trust you first and foremost. We trust your spirit. We trust your discernment. And foremost in the name of Jesus, we believe you. So we're going to trust you. But we come out of agreement with the spirit of mistrust. We come out of this agreement with the spirit of rejection. We break rejection off of you right now in the name of Jesus. So we break it off of you right now in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that no longer will you hold on to what they said. No longer will you walk in what they didn't do. But today you are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are free by the blood of Jesus Christ. You are free. God said he did not reject you. Man may have rejected you, but God never does. So receive the love of God today for yourself. I come against that spirit of rape in the name of Jesus, where the enemy has tried to uh, rape you or where there have been rape situations, or even if it didn't happen, but just the trauma that it almost happened. We come against that rape spirit, that rape culture right now in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood all over it in the name of Jesus. Uh, our sons and our daughters, Lord God, we decree they will be safe. Uh, we decree and declare that they will be able to go in and out of these colleges without worrying about date rape and being raped and, and drink they drinks tainted. Lord God, we thank you for bringing about a, a, a revival in the colleges, in the culture. So Lord God, we thank you. We come against that right now in the name of Jesus. Break off the rape culture. Shift us, Lord God. Bring us to a place where there is a, a respect of humans, respect for one another, because rape is nothing to do with sex. It's about control. So we break that spirit of control and many times it's, it's a control of somebody else because you didn't have control or you didn't have control in another situation. So Lord God, we break it in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we come against every stronghold that the enemy has tried to put in our lives. Lord God, if we don't know what they are, show them to us because we want to walk in the freedom. Lord God, we come against stumbling blocks today. Lord God, even if we are our own stumbling block, Father, help us to move out of our own way. We come against the stumbling blocks of the enemy so that no longer will we be in these places where we can't do what we need to do, but we will move forward. No more stumbling blocks in your business. No more stumbling block in your finances. No more stumbling blocks in your health. God will give you the revelation on what you need to do so that you can walk in it. Lord God, we come against the spirit of unforgiveness in the name of Jesus. So help us to forgive because we can't receive your forgiveness if we're not willing to forgive. So we come against that. We come against the spirit of unbelief right now. We decree and declare no longer Will we walk around not believing who you have called for us to be because we believe what you said? We no longer will listen to the lies of the enemy, but we will believe you. We come against the spirit of worry. No more worry. No more fretting. No more no more um um anxiety. So, Father, we come against that. We speak peace in these places. We speak resolve. That's it. Thank you. The Lord said, get a resolve inside of you so that you no longer worried about what didn't happen, what's gonna happen. Lord God, we thank you. We come against double-mindedness. We speak soundness of mind over your ch children. Lord, we come against personal sabotage. No longer will we sabotage ourselves because this is how you sabotage yourself. When you start speaking, I ain't going to never do this. I ain't going to never do that. I can't do this. I can't do that. We come against personal sabotage right now in the name of Jesus. That's right. Bring a stillness, a settleness, a calmness to our spirit in the name of Jesus. So, Lord God, right now there's a resolve. No more personal sabotage. We're going to speak what you say. We're going to declare what you say. We're going to believe what you say. And that's how we're going to walk. Lord, we come against jealousy. The spirit of jealousy amongst brothers and sisters is not right. And so, Lord God, we come against that spirit of jealousy and envy because uh, they're, they're like partners. They're like bookends. We come against jealousy and envy because generally what is behind that is this lack of confidence in oneself. Lord God, so I ask 
ask that you help us as your children find our confidence in you so that we are not comparing ourselves. We're not jealous. There's no envy. And we're not trying to sabotage somebody else. So we're not only personal sabotage, but we're trying to sabotage somebody else. We come against all of that right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, and if there's there any spirit or hindrance of trauma that's still hidden in the belly of your children, Lord, we call it all out in the name of Jesus. Lord, we will walk in freedom. And in this place, in, in the place, uh, we, we, we cast out those lychee, life and purpose still in spirits. We, and in that place where we cast that out, we release your Holy Spirit. Fill us afresh. Thank you, Jesus. Renew us. Release your love. Release your peace. Release your joy. Give us clarity of mind and purpose. Now, Father, release the natural healing to your children. Woo! You have dealt with all of the soul things, the soul issues, the emotional issues, and those things that could have been hindering us. So help us today. We declare we're getting up and we're walking today. Our bodies are renewed, refreshed, and set free. We are healed. Be healed in Jesus' name. The spirit of infirmity no longer has control over you. We release uh, in the spirit and by the blood of Jesus, uh, we release a cease and desist command to the enemy. Today, Satan, you can no longer longer slander. You can no longer defame. You can no longer assassinate our character. Uh, you can no longer harass us or violate our godly rights. We command you to stop all legal, illegal, all illegal spiritual activities against us now in Jesus name. For God has given us the right to put you under our foot. You are under our foot. And today we activate that right and receive what God has decreed is ours. And while we walk in the authority of God, it is not by our mighty hands, but it's by his hands that you are defeated. You, Satan, lose all control today. We walk in freedom. Come on. Healing is released in the name of Jesus. Mind control is broken. Emotional trauma is healed by the blood of Christ. And finally, Lord, we have prayed and we believe that every mountain we saw before us today it no longer will be seen <laughs> we just like when you told Moses that the Egyptians that stood before them today, they would no longer see again. Why? Because they was drowned in the sea. So those things that blocked us today, they have been thrown into the sea. We will no longer see them again. Now give us the strength to make sure we don't go back and try to breathe life into the dead things. Let me say this right here. God said what he done healed you for, don't you breathe life back into it. Don't try to re resurrect what God has said is dead. Ah, Lord, so we thank you. You put it to death and we're going to leave it there. Thank you, Jesus. God, we say thank you. Now, I'm going to go back because the first video cut off. And that's and yeah, that devil made me mad. So, I'm going to go back. For those that didn't hear the first part, I'm going to go back. And I'm going I'm to just fill in one of the main parts where we were talking about making it personal. And I said this. We come today. And say to the mountains, now you tell me what mountain God needs to move in you. And we come today and as a collective voice and say to that mountain, you must immediately be removed and you must immediately be cast into the sea. And we'll no doubt, we will have no doubt in our hearts, but we will believe that what we are saying is happening now. It will be done to us now. We continually pray for everything and know that we are what we are asking. We are believing it. It's going to happen and we are there to the taking it. So the mountains that was in your life today, you and I, we came collectively and told them they had to leave. They cannot stay. They have no control over you. They must go in Jesus name. And let me also just say this before I go. For those that came on, let me tell you something. I I am pumped in the Lord because even when we got started, see the, the thing, it just stopped. It was like, it, and it wouldn't let me back on. But I said, God, this must be a good prayer. But you know what? I said, I'm going to come in on my phone. It don't matter because guess what? It wasn't about me. I believe that God did something today, not because of Jewel, but because of him. And I believe if you believe by faith that he, you have received something he's, you've been asking for, it is yours. It is yours. Don't let the enemy tell you can't have it. See, for two days, I woke up two days ago. Don't know what happened. Just woke up. My whole right side was in pain. I couldn't do nothing. I, I couldn't do nothing but lay around. I was like, Lord. But I said to myself, Lord, 
if I, if my husband got to prop me up in the chair, I'm still coming to pray because I believe by faith that there's something you want to do. And guess what? Because I did not give up as I began to pray because the pain was going away. But as I began to pray, can I tell you something? I don't feel none of that. I couldn't do none of this. God has healed. And I and I declare right now, it ain't coming back. It's not coming back. Because see, the enemy is say, oh, you just feeling good because you're praying right now. And you all hyped. But when you come, it's coming. No, it's not coming back. Because I take dominion over that. I take, I take control over that. God has said that I can speak into my own life. He already said that which we say and declare here can be can be activated in heaven. So I declare my healing is now. It is real received now in the name of Jesus and heaven is going to back me up in the name of Jesus. So I don't know how long I went because I can't see the time on my phone, but I pray that it blessed you. I pray that, um, this was, uh, an encouragement to you and if you can watch the other part if you didn't um the first half i think i went about 15 minutes on the first half so you can um watch that one if it i hope it saved it and i'm gonna save this one so even if you came in late and found it late go back and listen to it um and of course if you have any prayers even if you come in after uh the replay and you have some prayers you can put your prayer request because i do pray for your prayers even if you don't i don't pray from here i'm praying for you so again what we always say until next time, what's that? The mountains is backwards over here, but we're going to pray until the mountains are moved. God bless you and have a great day.